Today we'll be taking a look at AccuFlow, which is a task management application which wants to help you to plan your calendar, your tasks and tasks from other applications all in one location. We're going to overview everything you need to know, including the features, the pros, the cons and our verdict to see whether it's right for you. If you're interested in AccuFlow, you can find it up here or in the description below. We will include a deal if it's relevant in the link in the description if you're interested. Now, welcome. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and welcome to Tool Finder. Let's dive into AccuFlow and see whether it's right for you. So the best place to start is with the pricing. Pricing is pretty simple for this application. It's $19 per month billed annually, but there is a $34 per month pricing. Let's roll into the features. I think the best way to explain this is breaking it down into three parts. The first part being the calendar management, the second part being tasks, and then the third part being consolidation. So the calendar management is pretty simple inside of the application. On this right hand side, I can go ahead and create not just a task, but also an event. Now this is great because it means I can manage my calendar in one location. I can also connect up Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar to be able to bring in events that might happen in my day. Now, as you can see down here, it's creating a Google Calendar event as I do this. So for example, if I had reviews and I pressed enter, now that is a event. Now you can expand the calendar, you can move it ahead, you can customize it up in the top right hand corner. For example, you could change the density, hide the weekends, and even add a secondary time zone, which is incredibly helpful when you're working with external parties. But the idea behind this is that you can manage your calendar in one location. You can also do something called time blocking, which is essentially a system that allows you to drag your items onto your calendar. Now this is particularly helpful because for people who are very visual in terms of their productivity, this will allow them to start working on the task in a more linear view. And this sort of leads us onto the task management side. Obviously inside of this account, task management is a good experience. You can add tasks up here and they are very simple. For example, if I enter the task, I can plan that task, I can add a duration, I could even repeat it and add a description as well as a link as well. Now there are projects to organize your tasks and they can be viewed over here and a project will organize those tasks into a bit more detail. You can have a personal area, you could have a professional area, but whatever the area, you can organize this, sort it, and section it off to be a little bit more helpful for you. There's even an inbox area which will allow you to sort and process the tasks that are coming into your system. So they're the two main features. The tasks and the calendar work well together to help you to block out that time that's more effective for you. There's even additional views like upcoming view, which will allow you to plan more effectively. There's also a view for entering a task. If you were to enter the task using the focus mode, if I press, if I enter the task here, then I can open it up and focus on that task as well as see upcoming items and even see calendar events here as well. But the entire experience is very good for that. You can also see your scheduled items here. So now the tasks and the uh, calendar are sort of explained. Over in the top right hand corner, what you can do is go to the integration section. Now integrations is probably the way that it separate, separates itself from other apps like Todoist and um, more basic task management applications like TickTick and Things3. Because what it does is allows you to connect up services. And these are the basic services you can add. You can create some in automations with Zapier, IFTTT, which are automation services. But basically you can add all of these and have as many as you want added to your account. So for example, I've got my personal uh, calendar, my work calendar, my email, my Slack, Slack again, Notion and ClickUp. Now the idea behind all of these, if I click in, you can essentially bring these tasks into your system. So to give you a basic demonstration of that, you can see these are emails that I actually have starred inside of my Gmail account. And essentially what it's gonna do is help better bring them into my system. So I'm not just relying on me creating the task and doing that administrative elements of it, I'm consolidating my tasks. And the same with Notion, the same with other apps. And most importantly, you can configure these so that when they're completed inside of your account, they're completed inside of the app so that you don't have to jump over to the app if you don't want to. You can set this up with filters, whatever, in terms of how you want to bring tasks in. 
but the prime premise is to help you to reduce context switching. And that context switching can be stressful across the day because it means you jump between applications. But one of the reasons that a lot of people like this is because if you work with loads of different clients and interact with them, then you don't have to move to their application. You can use this as almost a dashboard to help plan. So obviously those are the core features, but there are some additional abilities which sort of make it a little bit more powerful. And that feature is daily planning. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can access daily planning. And this is a great way to start setting up your goals and plan your tasks for the day ahead. The idea behind this is so that you can uh, use the tasks that are in your system and plan ahead instead of becoming overwhelmed this is almost what's called guided planning and it's used by apps like Sansama to help you to coordinate what to work on next. For example, tomorrow I could work on the reclaim, motion, etc. And then I could go ahead and plan it into my schedule, which is quite helpful. So the idea behind this is to better coordinate you for the day ahead. Now, there are other abilities inside of the account, um, like plan here. So for example, if I was planning to do my home, clean my home, I could bang and organize that in. And the idea behind this is to help organize your workload. There are some artificial intelligence features. For example, if I was adding an item, say, uh, clean room, then as you can see, that clean room, AI is working in the background, and as you can see, it's added it to my personal area, um, and that's quite helpful because it will automatically organize the project based on the type of task. You can see here that the AI model is still learning from me over time, it's going to be able to, the more tasks I add, the more accurate the AI system is going to get in terms of organizing the project, but you can start to see how useful that is. So uh, we talked about rituals. There's also a feature called time slots, which is incredibly helpful. Now you can see slots is basically a way to uh, add a bunch of things. So for example, if I was doing a recording, I could say I do AccuFlow, I might do reclaim, I might do motion, and you get the idea. Once I add these items, it allows me to block these off. Um, obviously, it didn't get that one quite right because motion, it thought, is related to fitness, but you know, some sometimes it's going to have to learn from me, and obviously, I'm going to have to force it uh, to pick up, uh, like learn from me over time, which is going to be helpful. So the idea of that is that you've now got a task that has three tasks within it and I can tick those items off as necessary. And there's loads of really nice animations that pop up at the same time. So there's additional abilities that all uh, snoozed tasks, planned tasks, which help you to see what's coming up. Um, there's a command bar, which is incredibly helpful once you learn it to organize your tasks. There's a share availability section, which allows you to share availability and create an availability code which a uh, link which allows you to share it with other people and daily statistics down the bottom to see how you're progressing. There's even an area if you type in H above one of your tasks, what it's going to do is uh, that's because it's a time block. Um, but if I were to add H here, it's set it as a goal now to indicate a more prioritized item on my list. So all in all, the idea behind this application, let's look at the pros. The pros of this experience is that you can do task consolidation. You can do guided planning and you can really try and weave in together your calendar and your tasks. There's a real benefit to both of these experiences. The negatives are, or the cons are, that this application is highly priced. It is $19 a month, which for many people is quite expensive and that's pipe prayed yearly. And obviously you can find a deal in the description below if you're interested to try it out. But at the same time, if you compare it to apps like Todoist, you were charging $5 compared to $19. It's almost four times the pricing. So, of course, you need to be able to consider whether the task consolidation, the guided planning, and those elements make a difference like availability actually are worth that more for you. Some people see it like this. If you're using multiple applications like Calendly, uh, Fantastic Out, and Todoist, you're probably paying upwards of $12, $13 for those three apps collectively. Well, this idea is to consolidate them into one experience and obviously do a few more bits. So some people are willing to pay for that, but it's important to judge whether that's right for you. The additions are that the AI features aren't incredibly good. They're just very basic at this point in time. Auto assign projects is very basic and will sort of get you, um, you know, set up, but not really incredibly useful. I also find that the ability to manage a lot of the different overdue stuff can be quite stressful if you don't use this daily planning area. 
Um, so if you're not into that guided planning system, it's going to be quite stressful because there's a lot of tasks coming from other applications here. So it's important to be able to establish a framework before you get started. But all in all, this application wants to better help you to manage your workload in one location. And there's a lot more of these apps coming out soon. So if you're interested in exploring alternatives to this application, you can find them over on toolfinder.co and find out daily planner apps that are suitable for you. So thank you very much. I hope this video was helpful in helping you choose between and work out whether AccuFlow is right for you. Thanks very much, folks, and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.